Right, it's time now to look back on 2002 and announce our Car of the Year. OK, and the nominations are the Range Rover. We've just seen it. It is the king of off-rovers. And the Mazda 6. The Japanese try to take on the Germans and they succeed. It's a cracking car and very good value as well. And then there's the Mini Cooper S. It's the trendiest car in the world right now. It's like driving around in a supercharged parker. And the Audi RS6. It's fast in a straight line, fast round corners, and it's fast even when it's raining. Right. Have we missed anything? Anybody got any more thoughts that we should have put on the show? The what? Maybach 62. The Maybach 62 is a stupid car. We're coming to that later. <laughs> Anybody else? The Vauxhall Vectra. <laughs> the Vauxhall Vectra wouldn't be the best car, even if it was launched in 1984. <laughs> and a really... Jaguar XJ? That was launched this year, was it? Well, Where are you no. from? <laughs> <laughs> Which part of the country? Coventry. <laughs> they make the damn things there. Have you not noticed them? <laughs> I'm afraid you're all way wider than Mark. Uh, as are, in fact, the official European Car of the Year jury, who uh, voted in recently the Renault Megane. Car of the Year. Only if you do that. <laughs> so, our Car of the Year is... We've got some gold envelopes. Ready? It's the Range Rover. The judges, and that would be us, were impressed with its mono-thingy chassis, its supplementary heater, and the sheer Range Roveriness of it. And the next one is for um, this year's most pointless car. OK, and the shortlist here is the Mercedes Maybach. It's a private jet that can't take off. <laughs> and then the Ford Fusion. Don't be fooled by the ads. It is a Ford Fiesta in a hat. <laughs> And the Rover 75 long wheelbase, suitable only for the Mayor of Preston. <laughs> right. Have we missed anything there or not? SL55 AMG, you think is a point... <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go to the actual winner, which is... It's the Ford Fusion, everybody! Yay. Now, um... <laughs> the judges were very impressed with Ford's idleness on this one. They knew that we all liked mini-MPVs, they knew they needed to make one, and they couldn't be bothered. <laughs> uh, next up, a very popular category here. It's the weirdest Renault category. OK. Weirdest <laughs> Renault of the year. The nominees are as follows. The Vel Satis. It's a businessman's car, but only if your business is Enron. <laughs> <laughs> the Megane. A family car, but only if your family is the Osborns. <laughs> and the Avon Time. It's a sporty coupe, but only if you don't want a car that's sporty. <laughs> or a coupe. <laughs> And the winner, the weirdest Renault of the year, is, in true mad Renault style, it's the Nissan Micra. <laughs> <laughs> the judges noted that the designer had plainly got too much ink in his pen. Look at it. Stop designing it, man. Step away from the CAD CAM unit. You've finished. That's enough details on one car. <laughs> now the big one. Our surely you don't need the money. Award. And the winner is Eddie Irvine for promoting this host pipe here. <laughs> the man earned £6 million last year, £6 million, but still thought it was a good idea to put his fizzog on this box, <laughs> which is available in Woolworths for £79.99p. <laughs> now, a mixture, a mixture of poise, precision and Harry Enfield there. But now it's time to award the prize to the fastest celebrity in the whole series, and it was, if we look on this board, J.K. with a time of 1.48, and he's here, everybody! <laughs> well done. And there it is. Oh, look at the sound. I should apologise for the end that's you, come the off BBC there. The BBC has really pushed the boat up. Slightly broke. Would you like to make a speech? Just, a little just... Tom Hanks-style acceptance speech would be good. 
Lewis. No, it's I'd okay. I'd just like to say to everybody that um, it's one of the greatest days of my life to get this... Uh, <laughs> to get this award and, uh, you know, I mean, no Brit Award or Grammy could come close to it. And I uh, just want to thank Jeremy, the BBC, God, Mum, everybody, thank you. Fantastic! <laughs> minute 19. Great news. OK, now a couple of weeks ago we had a race on our track to find Britain's fastest faith and it was won by the Church of England. Trouble is, no Muslim took part because when we filmed the item it was Ramadan and during Ramadan Muslims are forbidden from eating or taking part in any form of motorsport. However, I'm delighted to say that Ramadan is now over. So, we have a Muslim in the Top Gear base. And not just a Muslim, we also have a Druid, and a Rastafarian, and a Seventh Day Adventist. Welcome to you all. You. Now, um, you are enormous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Pastor Gary Gordon. Pastor Gary Gordon, good. And you live where? Uh, Oxford. And where do you, what do you normally drive? Um, Peugeot 1.9 diesel. Did you have any idea what you were supposed to be doing? To uh, you? Some idea, yeah. Well, you wouldn't have been getting much practice in your Peugeot diesel, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> OK, so you are, well, a Rastafarian, is a guess. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> good. And what's your name? Olivier. What do you drive? Uh, Work-wise, I drive a Mondeo diesel. Right, another <laughs> diesel engine. Maybe as interesting as the Persia. Yeah. yeah. Do you do any motorsport? I have dabbled, yes, this season. I've been in the British Rally Championships. Oh, really? Only in a showroom class polo, but... Uh, it doesn't matter, you've been doing some serious motorsport. Left hand drive and... You've had it. You've all had it. <laughs> <laughs> you've all had it. It's like the C of E guy. He did a bit, he did a bit on the side, okay. albeit in an MG, but he did a bit on the side. Right. And you, well, what's your name? My name's Arthur Pendragon. Arthur Pen... what? King Arthur? That's the one. I thought he was a fictional character. <laughs> um, no, I'm not fictional and nor's me sword. Oh, right. <laughs> OK, finally, at the end, you are...? Tariq Nassim. Tariq Nassim. And you live where? West Sussex. And you drive what? I've got Skoda RS. A Skoda Optimum. RS? Quick yeah. car. Mind you, there is a little note I've got here that you once took it to Paris, but you misread the speed signs. I did. You thought 130. Kilometres an hour yeah. was miles an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, well, we're going to find out how you did on the track when you did this morning. Plainly, you've kept the car in one piece, which is more than can be said for the bishop who came here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Never trust the bishop. No, exactly. <laughs> and you keep off the grass. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll see how you get on a little bit later. Anyway, now's the time, the second coming of our fastest fates, and we're going to find out whether any of our chaps here were quicker than the Church of England. As with our previous fastest faith shootout, the race will be run in a 340 brake horsepower Subaru rally car. So, would the Church of England remain the kings of the track? First to go, Tarek, the Muslim. <laughs> was doing really well. But then the druid summoned up the ancient gods of Overspear. Not just one spin. You do score extra for donuts, don't you? I do. <laughs> yeah. But Tarek overcame the wizardry to finish the lap. Tires scrooching. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. It is a difficult oh, breaking a... point over there, though. I've got right. to say that is you, you get such a long view. Of it. There's no mark there for you to yeah, break exactly. out. <laughs> Next up, Arthur Pendragon, member of the ancient and modern Druid Order, priest of Merlin and the Horn God, battle chieftain, high priest of the Dragon Coven, and a Morris Oxford driver. My Peugeot. 1.9D doesn't sound like that, I can tell you. No, let's hope not. It's not to 60 in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
With the Celtic spirits rooting for him, the Druid turned in a tidy lap. How do you get around there so quick? <laughs> that's the that's magic. <laughs> Gary, the Seventh-day Adventist, was next. But yet again, the Druid had struck, this time casting a spell that shrank the car. Any suggestions? You sit in with me and come round with me and we'll do it together. <laughs> oh, like kind of a co-driver yeah. thing. Yeah, we fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, uh, well, let me manly. just put it this way. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm too manly, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm too big for the car. That left a Levi, the Rastafarian, okay. who called on the spirit of Jar. Yes, Jar, mighty, bless the carriage. And by now, the Druid was out of spells. And at last, a proper rival to the current champion from the Church of England. Because, like him, a Levi's an amateur weekend racer. And it showed. Superstars, one and all, and what a complete tragedy. Yeah, the car was too small. <laughs> I know the feeling, mate. Yeah, yeah. All cars are too small, aren't they? I, I don't know that feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's not one I suffer from. Yeah. Why do I have to stand there? Let's do the results. Right, here we go, in reverse order, as is traditional. In fourth place. <laughs> That'll be you, Gary, because you <laughs> couldn't get in the car. Okay. Scored a time of, so far, about four hours. <laughs> Going well. Not to worry. Third place, King Arthur. Kind of predictably, really, with a time of 1 minute 48. In second place, Tarek, with a very good time, 1 minute 41. Thank you. Now, the big question is, we know at this point that the Rastafarian, a Levi Doctrove, has won, but the big question is, have you beaten the Church of England? Mm -hmm. And when they came here, they went round in 1 minute 37 seconds, faster than all you lot. You went round in one minute, 31 Whoa. seconds. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. That's only... That is only... Well, it's less than two seconds off the pace set by the Stig. That's, That's an unbelievable performance. Jason, bring in the trophy. <laughs> there you are, the fastest race. <laughs> Well, actually, it's the fastest faith for now, unless we can find a smaller Seventh-day Adventist <laughs> <laughs> or a bigger car. <laughs>